Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fill any doodle border with an image or a pattern, and we're going to do it inside of Canva. Um, this will work with any kind of border. It doesn't have to be a doodle border, but those are just kind of what's trending right now. So you can see here, I've got these little borders and they are hollow. There's nothing inside of them. And then down here, I've got them filled with different patterns. Um, you can actually do that all within Canva. It just takes a little bit of work. So let me show you what we're doing here. First of all, I'm going to come over into the elements. Um, these are some that I've already used, but to get these borders, you can just type in doodle border and then come over here to graphics and it will start showing you all of these fun doodle borders. Um, there's a few different styles. Most of them are hollow. You might run across a shape of one you like that is not hollow. Um, I'm not seeing any on here. Oh, like this. Like say you like this shape, but it's not hollow, we can still make a border out of that as well. I'm gonna show you both ways. One thing I did want to show you really quick is this guy, first of all, was a lot skinnier. But I had put a shadow around it. If I take that shadow off, you see how skinny that was? But I had come up to edit. Let's just do it over again. So I've clicked my element, come up to edit, scroll down here to shadows and I got this outline and you can adjust the size of that outline to whatever you want it to be. So if you have a doodle border that you really love but it's just a little thin for your liking, don't worry, you can absolutely thicken that up. Okay, so what you want to do to create the um, inner part is so let me add one more page here. I'm just going to start with this one. I'm going to make it as big as the page will allow me to make it. And I'm going to increase the size of my page so I can really see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to come over here to the tools and grab the pen. You want to come to the marker and you can make it any color you want as long as you can see it against your background. And I'm gonna thicken that up. You see the dot got bigger as I made this thicker? That's probably gonna be good. So now, you wanna just come in here and go inside your outline layer, your doodle border. Do not come outside of it, okay? Oops, Control Z. Make sure you stay inside but touch the actual edges. And this does not need to be pretty. You just need to go all the way around. And I'm gonna speed this up while I finish going all the way around this doodle border. Okay, so like I said, it does not need to be pretty. You just need to get your border traced out. Once you have the whole outline done, come and fill the rest of it in. I'm just gonna grab a square for now and I'm going to fill up as much as I can with this square, but I, again, do not wanna overlap my doodle border. I just want to fill it up. Okay, so there are some little parts that still need to be filled. So at that point, I'm gonna take my pen again and I'm just gonna fill in anything that is still white. Okay, that's all you need to do. Now we are going to take this outline and just delete it. We don't need that anymore. I'm gonna make this page a little bit smaller now. And we wanna group all of these parts together that we just got through drawing with our pen tool. And we're gonna download this, just this only, download it with a transparent background. So share, download, transparent background, and only page four. 
We want to download that as a PNG. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and delete this so that we don't get confused. This is what I just drew with all those little pieces. Okay. So that's uploaded. Now what we need to do is pick the pattern that we want to fill this with. I have just some digital papers that I had uploaded from Creative Fabrica. You're welcome to do that too, or you can come in, let me make that a little bit smaller, and you can get your own, um, I'm gonna put Christmas pattern. It's already there, so Christmas pattern. Now for this trick to work, do not grab any of these graphics. You need to come over into photos. If you're uploading your own PNGs, that will work. But if you are using Canva elements, put in Christmas pattern or, you know, coquette pattern, Halloween pattern, whatever it is you're wanting and hop over to photos, pick a pattern, put it on your screen. And now we're going to come over to the apps. So down here, click apps. And I want you to search for clipping mask. And you will find this app here called clipping mask. Get that selected. And if you have the proper type of element selected on your screen, you will see this start masking. If you have nothing selected on your screen that works with it, it's going to be blank. Come and click your digital paper or clip, click your photo so that it is selected on your screen and then you can hit start masking. Again, it will not work with a graphic, it has to be a PNG that you've uploaded or a photo. Okay, so it's going to give you all these fun shapes you can put in, but none of that is what we want. We want to come to upload our own image, choose file, and we want to grab that little doodle border thing that we just made open and there it is awesome make it as big as you want it you can see how it's going to look inside of the pattern i'm just going to put it right around here okay and when it looks how you want it to look just click add to design and there it is i can delete this digital paper now and I have the filling so I'm just going to oh I deleted the border that's okay I have one up here I can use I'm just gonna come up here let's make this bigger so you can see what I'm doing and you're gonna put it in your doodle border you might need to do a little adjusting on the size but it's okay, it will fit. I'm gonna use my arrows now to just scooch it. Okay, now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna move it to the back position, to back, and I filled that doodle border with whatever image or pattern I wanted. All of these are going to work the exact same way. Um, this one is a little fun, this one right here, because instead of having to use the pen tool so much, I can just come in here. What is? And I can grab a circle. Let me make that smaller. There is like a lag or delay going on right now and it's driving me crazy. And I can take this circle. And then I can duplicate control D. And once I tell it where to go the first time, every time I duplicate it, it's gonna fall into place now. You see that? And then I'd have to do the same thing going down. But that's um, a quicker way to do it. And then I would come in and grab another square and fill that up just like I did before. Let me get rid of all of that. Okay, now for this kind, if you've got one that is solid, um, let's see, I'm gonna copy, bring it down to a new page. I already did that, <laughs> getting way ahead of myself. Okay, so you wanna fill this with um, the pattern or whatever. What you're gonna need are two of these. 
So I'm going to duplicate this and you're going to put an outline on one of them. So I'm going to come to edit and again down to shadows. We're going to grab an outline. It already put one on there. We can't really see it because it's black. So let's turn it a different color and then you just get that whatever size you want your doodle border to be. I actually think that's a pretty good size. That's at 25. That's where I'm going to leave it. I am going to make it a little more of a brighter color that we can see better. Let's do like a bright pink. Okay, so that's going to end up being our doodle border. And then we're going to take this one that does not have a border and we're going to fill it with the pattern that we want by using the same app. So let's pick the um, pattern that we want to be inside of this doodle border. So Christmas pattern, come to photos. We did that plaid last time. So let's do, um, I don't know, let's just do these snowflakes. Okay. I'm gonna put this on its own page so it's not in the way of anything that we're doing. Okay, now while this is selected, let's go back into our apps. So app, hello clipping mask. It's already selected and it's a type of object that the app will allow us to mask. So start masking. Now we don't want any of these. Again, we want to upload our own image. So we would have needed to download this um, beforehand. I forgot to do that with you, but I do already have it downloaded. So you would download the one that you didn't put the border on and then up, come upload it into here. So choose file. That's that one right there. Open. Okay. And now let's get it how we want it looking. Maybe like Let's go there. Add to design. Okay, now I can delete the background. Make my screen a little bit bigger again so we can see what we're doing here. And then I just take this one and put it inside here. And I'm going to change this border color again because I don't think that's going to work out. Uh, shadows. Let's make it, let's just put it back to black. Okay, there we go. And from this point, if you want your doodle border to be any larger, you can increase the size of it. And then you want to take your photo and decrease it a little. And there you go. All right, guys, so it's really that easy to create a fill or a pattern for any doodle border that you want inside of Canva by just using the clipping mask and the drawing features in Canva. All right, we'll see you next time.